Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Ready Precision. In this video, we're taking a look at our backup and restore options that are available to us on the new Jace 9000. Jace 9000 is becoming more and more available now, and uh, knowing how to do your backup and restores is obviously really important. So let's jump in and take a look. All right, so the first thing that's different about the 9000 over the 8000 when it comes to backing up is that there's an automatic backup that happens every night at 2 a.m. Uh, to the SD card that's in the Jace. As we talked about in our Jace 9000 videos, the uh, station itself now runs in memory and storage that's built into the Jace, not something that we had in the 8000. Um, so the SD card now is sort of uh, used as a backup option. And what this means is that we get an automatic backup every night at 2 a.m. and we keep the last three backups on that SD card. We don't have to do anything. There's no configuration involved here. It's just automatically done and we can make use of that in our later restore processes that we'll talk about in a little bit. The next option that we have is that we can manually trigger a backup to that SD card from the shell using option 7. So let's jump over to shell and look at that. Uh, so I've got a shell open here with my 9000 and we can see that uh, we have this option 7 which is create SD backup. I'm going to do it and it's just going to ask me if I want to do the backup. I'm going to say yes. Wait a little bit. Backup starts. Wait for it to complete. That's it. You're backed up. Then the other option we have is an option that we've had for basically as long as Niagara's been a thing. Uh, which is to back up from our platform, uh, platform administration within Workbench. So we can do that too. We can go into our platform, I'll re log in here, and I'll go to platform administration, and I'll choose backup. And I want to back up that station that's running. I'll accept my details here for the station. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. And then I'll hit save. And then we'll have a distribution backup that we can use later to do a restore um, as we need to. And one of the important notes is that this was sort of a good idea, but I don't think many people actually used it. On the 8000, we had the ability to use the USB port on the top and plug in a, a thumb drive and press the backup button and back up to that thumb drive. That option is no longer available. That USB port is no longer there. The button is now a shutdown button and not a backup button. So just important to know. Next, how do we do a restore from those backups? So the most important one to know, because it's new and you haven't seen it before, is to do a restore from the SD card uh, using the shell. So instead of that option 7 that we chose to do a backup to this SD card, we're now going to choose option 8, which is going to do a restore from the SD card. SD card keeps three backups on it, so it's going to ask us which one we want to use, and it'll do that restore. So we come back over here, and I reopen up my um, shell, and we go into option 8 in shell, and then it's going to ask me which one I want to use. I'll say two, and it's going to ask me, is this backup uh, using the same passphrase as the passphrase that's in the JSON already? This is uh, good to know if you've got a new JSON or something like that. This is the feature that you're going to use to um, move an SD card from one JSON to another and restore that. You need to use this backup feature or restore feature, and you're going to need to put in the passphrase in that case. But in my case, the backup passphrase is the same as the system passphrase, and it's just going to go off and do its thing automatically, and we can watch it here in the shell if we needed to. And then our, our last one um, is uh, our restore from platform, and where we're going to use the platform and distribution file installer, and uh, that's going to be used when you're uh, restoring from a backup that you've created um, from that backup uh, option from within the platform or future uh, video will show this if you're using the cloud backup services in the Niagara cloud uh, this is the option that you would use for restoring there as well so let's jump into uh, 
workbench again and take a look at that. All right, so now we're in Niagara and we're going to go to the platform of our JACE and we're going to go to the distribution file installer. And we're going to choose the backups option down here, which brings us to the default folder uh, for our backups within the version that we're using. And I'm going to choose that backup that I made earlier. And I'm going to hit install. Ask me a couple questions. Make sure it's everything that I want to install. Uh, it's going to tell me the IP address, the IP addressing that it's going to go to if I want to update. Uh, and then I'm going to hit finish. It's going to run through everything and we'll be good to go. So hopefully that was helpful and informative to you. Uh, we'll have a lot more videos uh, on similar backup topics uh, coming up here in the near future. Um, if you like the video, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.